Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel ClickView Enthusiast. I am Abhishek, a ClickView learner and today I will share my learning about one of the very important and useful uh, ClickView object, slider or calendar object. Before I move ahead uh, talking and explaining about uh, uh, slider object and showing show you how it will behave in this dashboard uh, let me just give you a, a small brief uh, about its uses so slider or calendar object uh, as I said earlier it's a very important object and why because they give input to your dashboard so for example as you are seeing uh, this information uh, where you have different KPIs and uh, suppose you have a requirement uh, where you don't want to sh show all of these KPIs but uh, you just want to show top 5 KPIs or uh, you know only a limited number of KPIs that you can set such properties with the help of uh, slider uh, where you know it moves tick by tick and uh, in the background you can make an arrangement by using variables that how many variables a chart should show or another example can be uh, so you have uh, information like Jan, Feb, March so a lot of uh, so all of these months information is presented over here but in the slider uh, you can set that for how many months information you want so uh, the month will be populated on the slider and you will moving backward or the forward to set the chart properties which is uh, uh, which will be associated to the slider so i know I, i'm talking a lot about this and this may make a little bit uh, things confusing for you but uh, I just wanted to uh, make you aware that it is very important and uh, makes your dashboard uh, an analytical dashboard where you can do an analysis like uh, what if analysis and uh, other kind of analysis where you want to show the cause and effect. So uh, cause can be on the slider or on the calendar and effect that you will see in the charts or in the KPIs or the other objects that you have on your dashboard. Another quick thing uh, before I move ahead and actually two things. Uh, first is uh, because this is an advanced uh, object so I will not be able to cover most of the aspects but I will show you uh, from a beginner perspective that how you can uh, uh, take an advantage of slider object from which you can give input and uh, another thing is uh, uh, this video is divided into two series so in this first series I am talking about slider object and in the next video or in another series of this object uh, I'm sorry in another series of the video I will talk about the calendar object alright so let's start with uh, creating a slider or calendar object so I just right clicked on the blank space new sheet object and uh, here you have a slider slash forward slash calendar object right I just left clicked on that so here we have uh, a general properties where we can set uh, or say uh, what kind of a object we want we whether we want a slider or a calendar so in this first video we are talking about slider we click on this uh, so in this data group uh, which from which field we want to associate to this slider so for this demonstration purpose let uh, let it make a very basic one so that everyone can understand who is watching this video and uh, we say that uh, we want to show this year information on the slider so you just want to provide an input of years into the dashboard so this is a fiscal year you click on this fiscal year alright I'm not uh, selecting any other value I'm just clicking apply ok and you see this 
2009, 2010 and 2011 is auto populated on the slider right and uh, you can click on any of the uh, year like 2010 so you see that entire dashboard even this filter list filter is automatically selected but this is very general example uh, where you know you can provide an input uh, based on the field that you have selected but uh, this is very advanced and uh, most of the times uh, in the real-time dashboard it is used with variables to provide an input into the dashboard but this is just for the demonstration purpose that how uh, slider works so that's how you can move slider so for 2009 if you want to see the information 2009 is selected and you have the dashboard updated for you even you can uh, move the uh, this uh, this button with the help of these arrows like if you click here forward arrow you have this 2000, 2011 selected for you if you click this backward arrow you have 2010 2009 selected for you so that's about uh, a slider object let's see some of its properties uh, so here we selected uh, the fee the field fiscal year for this but even if you are interested in providing some expression as I said it is very advanced in nature you can set an expression that based on this expression I want the values on this slider so this is another thing that you can do with the slider values uh, next option under the data is the variables you can set a variable you know some price related information that price related information will be populated on this uh, slider based on the minimum value and maximum values uh, it has so if you click apply you see this from 0 to 10 uh, the values are populated and uh, you know that variable value uh, you can associate with these charts that are present here but because that is little advanced in nature so I'm not covering here but I'm just giving you an idea so you can set the variables one variable and but if you have a dependency on two variables you can select multi value and select both the variables so from two variables you can uh, you can supply the values into the dashboard and dashboard will be changing uh, the result as you select move forward or backward from this slider object okay so let's make it default select and uh, let's make it a field value of uh, fiscal year for now apply It'll so value mode discrete and continuous numeric uh, those who uh, who are aware about uh, statistics discrete uh, is something like you know value is redundant like fiscal year so 2008 2009 2010 11 will be appearing so many times so this is a discrete continuous uh, numeric valuable values are those which are continuous in nature like uh, salary of a uh, employee uh, which may or may not be similar to the uh, another value uh, or the uh, another value of another employee so I will select single uh, value for now because this is for fiscal year and we want a discrete mode okay so I explained about minimum and maximum value also when we have checked the V price but because this is a field which is which has predefined value that's why these fields are not enabled for us so rest of the values are uh, uh, pretty much basic in nature like what background you want for the slider thumb tack thumb tack is this this button uh, scroll arrows is this scroll arrow 
uh, scale background what should be the scale background unit ticks what color unit ticks should have so this is about the you know colors or the backgrounds you can set uh, scale uh, use automatic scale or you want to use a custom scale like five major ticks label on every three major unit if you click apply you see this so usually we have automatic scale we click on apply but if you have requirement you can change it according to your own requirement uh, show scroll arrows so arrows are these arrows present here if you don't want you can uncheck that click apply they will be disappeared but I want it for now so let's make it available slider style a uh, solid or shimmer again very straightforward choose it according to your requirements mm. okay so we have uh, another important property orientation so we want a horizontal or vertical we just want a vertical click apply it will be vertically aligned if you want horizontal click apply same is the case with label if you want horizontal label or vertical label simply depends on your requirement change it and do it for your dashboard sort uh, again uh, straightforward how you want to sort the values this is numerical value so whether you want uh, ascending or descending order choose it according to yourself based on your requirement uh, we are not covering expression here because this is little advanced in nature uh, I hope to cover them in a separate video because expression is like uh, consistently uh, similar for all the objects that we have discussed so I'm hoping that I should cover that in another video that will provide a much clearer a uh, view of uh, doing a sort based on the expression but this is little advanced so I'm not explaining here so we have another property number so if you have a number related fields how do you want to uh, provide a formatting straightforward I have explained in my last couple of videos uh, font so what kind of a font again straightforward if you have some text and everything want to change the font you can do that from this window um, layout uh, again you know straightforward uh, most important properties are always show property so you want to show the slider always or you want to show the slider based on some condition you can do that you want uh, another developer or end user of this application to move or resize this slider you can enable this by default this is enabled so I was able to resize this and similar is the way with copy or clone if you want the end user to copy or clone this thing they can do that scroll bars uh, what kind of uh, color scroll buttons or what kind of a background scroll should have so you can provide that but I think this is uh, not relevant in this case because we do not have any scroll bars next tab is for caption again straightforward I talked uh, so much about uh, the caption in my I think each and every video that I have uh, showed so far so show caption is something like uh, you want a s slider apply so slider will be appear over here you want to align its center or what you can do that vertically uh, center top or bottom uh, you can change the property uh, you can change the font of this text by clicking here straightforward and uh, inactive caption and active caption what should op what should be the background color and text in that case uh, you can specify from here based on your corporate color policies uh, I've talked earlier about that uh, if it is a long caption you can wrap text in two or three different lines similar is exposition of y position the the position that uh, slider has currently in the dashboard and the width and the height you can set it from here if you want to man minimize or maximize you can enable these properties and you want uh, help text you can do that so straightforward pretty much uh, similar properties that we have discussed so far in other videos 
So with that, uh, explore this uh, slider and uh, I hope to cover some advanced properties in another pro video. So that's all I wanted to discuss. Thank you. Bye-bye.